Hello everyone, welcome back to Subnautica. So guys, in the last episode we made some upgrades to the Seamoth and to our own equipment. The Seamoth can now go 900 meters deep and we ourselves have the high or ultra high capacity tank and the ultra glide fins. So we should be a little bit faster uh, and of course we can stay longer uh, underwater. So today we are going to um, well explore this alien cannon. Um, oh yeah, totally forgot about that. Uh, this alien cannon basically blew up a um, well a spaceship that uh, tried to save us. But uh, yeah, this this cannon well shot the um, you know spaceship so to speak because it basically protects the planet, right? So uh, we go over here and yeah, we're gonna explore this building here. And uh, see if we can uh, discover what to do next. Uh, oh, I can scan this. There we go. And insert this tablet. Now I have one on me and one extra actually. So we should be fine, I think. Okay. Well, here we are. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Right. Okay. It's definitely a weird building though. Like, uh, you know, you have pillars and then you have like no pillars right over there and stuff. Alright. Oh, what do we have there? What's this? Data ter- oh, a oh, computer, right? Data terminal? Unknown language, attempting translation. Okay, wait, alien terminal. Uh, alien data terminal. Let's see, this might be actually important to, to read, actually. Discovered inside of an, an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing the complex but recognizable data patterns. Okay, so it talks or something, maybe, in a way. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communi uh, communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of te telepathy would imply the designer were considerably more psychological. Uh, yeah, that word is so difficult. Um, psychologically. There we go. Developed uh, than the common human. Assessment for the research required. Right, okay. Um, okay, interesting. So, so does that mean that, like, they are connected or something? Like, ah, uh, maybe, you know, in a way or something. Because they can hear the machine. Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Okay. Oh, we have an iron cube here. Now I already got one, of course, from the uh, from the uh, time capsule, right? But uh, we finally have our own now. And these ones are used for, from what I know, for the tablets. There we go. Look at that. It's like basically an energy source. That's basically it, right? A really powerful one as well. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not... I mean, yeah, I don't know. Oh, another data terminal right over there. Oi, another cube, nice. Thank you very much. Now, does that mean that the game wants me to craft two tablets? Because it gives me two iron cubes. Hmm, I don't know, sure. Unknown language, attempting translation. Okay. 
Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of the facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility a non-construction material is identified as an ultra-hard non-reactive metal um, amalgam, amalgam? Synth synthesized from other off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Okay, interesting. Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to uh, to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The lo location is not listed, but there is a uh, there is evidence the designer intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Okay, so deep in the ground where there is probably volcano or heat and magma and that sort of stuff. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation produ uh, procedure or installed security measures. Wait, security measures? I mean, to be honest, the tablets are sort of security measures because you ha have to need the tablets, right? If that data was lost on this planet, you would be you would never be able to get in here, right? Okay. Oh, this is the moon pool, right? So they used underwater or like ships as well, like underwater, uh, like a submarine or something. Quite big too. Okay, all right. Let's see. Oh, we can go up, maybe. Seems like that. Right. Oh, what's this? A gun. It's probably just some extra lore and stuff. All right. It's not about the story, I guess. Right. If you do want to read it, I guess you will have to play the game yourself and find this. Oh, one of these things. We have seen this one before on the on the floating island. Um, and I do remember them. They are actually teleporters. I, re I remember that now. So, I mean, I don't know why you could teleport again. Like, I know there are a, f a few other places where you can teleport to, but I don't know why again. Maybe just because you unlock the end game, so to speak, and they are like, well, you know, you know, you can just travel wherever you want. Although I don't think you can take... No, because... You are always walk. I don't think you can take vehicles through it. Maybe the prawn suit. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Uh, purple tablets. Yoink. Inventory full. Uh, ooh, this minus 10 water. Wait, I cannot drop this? I cannot really. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so I need to be careful with that food then, because it actually, minus 10 food is, or like water, I mean, is, is insane. If I would eat that, then it would, I would be starving right now. Or like, I would be dying of thirst. Oh, what's this? Doomsday device? Alright, that sounds actually interesting. Well, scans indicate that the device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. Right. This small cube can actually destroy the whole planet and the solar system. Right, okay. That's not scary at all, is it? Okay. Another... Scans indicate the facility's control room. Lies beyond this doorway. 
Okay. Well, we found a purple tablet, so there we go. Nice. Okay. Right, right, right. So that's the control room. Probably another computer, right? Ooh, I can scan this. Energy core. Ooh. Okay. Alright, what's this? This device houses energy equivalent to a hundred uh, MT million ton, I guess. Nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead. Or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Oh, so you can also select with... Okay, interesting. Okay. So this is how to turn the machine off, right? Ow, that's a big-ass needle. panel is broadcasting a message translation reads warning infected individuals may not disable the weapon this planet is under quarantine yes we already know that uh, we got that okay so that means that we can only deactivate this machine Translating um, background broadcast downloading summary to data bank okay so we have to cure ourselves to disable the weapon and if we want to get off this planet or if there is going to be another ship going to help us we have to disable this machine or it will just shoot the machine out of the sky or like the spaceship out of the sky all right all right so that is um well actually i did already know that but for people who you know just watch this uh, this game for the first time uh, i'm trying to not spoil it too much uh, i'm sorry if i do sometimes say something that is kind of like hidden somewhere else um okay so this facility is uh well where we disable the weapon so i guess we will have to come back here once we um yeah w once we have basically build a ship because i know you can be able to build a ship but you can also um yeah you can get rid of the virus or bacteria so we need to figure out where that is and how to fix that, right? Okay, so uh, I think we can go back to our base and listen to the next radio message, I suppose. Now we can go 900 meters deep, so uh, there shouldn't be any problems uh, getting to the last, I don't know how many... Um, See, uh, life pots, I mean. There we go. That's a cool elevator, though. Although, I am kind of curious. How does this thing know? Wow, it's alien stuff, obviously. But, like, how does this thing know if you need to go up or down? Because if you, you know, step off... And someone else comes up, then how is this thing sent you down, you know? You know, it's just an, a thought, you know? Okay, so. Uh, we have a few iron cubes. And, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna make the tablets yet. Because I still have two left. So, it would be a waste if uh, I didn't need so many tablets, right? Right, we have arrived. I quickly uh, ate some fish. Uh, yeah, this this knife is actually like a must-have. This one is ridiculous. Um, okay, let's see. We do have some water, right? Yes, we do. Two of them. Look at that. Uh, oh, I, I, my inventory is full. Okay, let's uh, not uh, take so many of these fruits next time because they spoil. All right. Does this still work? I wonder. Oh, this one is still... Wait, how is this one still not 
Used. Okay. Well, I guess. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's weird that one. Re Maybe it's kind of bugged. It is spoiled. See, it's rotten. Oh, I see. So this one stores the power too. So it's not the base that stores the power. It's this thing. So it's uh, 500. So the only thing, or the only thing that now, like generates power, is this one. Oh, okay. That makes sort of sense. I wish you could like store it though. That would be a little bit better, right? Anyway, let's uh, listen to the next radio message. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Okay. Well, that is uh, kind of scary. Not gonna lie, it's kind of scary. Um, I oh, what were they again? I do believe. I don't know if those guys were sort of constructed or something, or they were like some weird as uh, protectors. Or yeah, I don't know. And the subjects, I I I think at least the subjects that that thing was talking about. I do believe like. The story goes, I think, nine of us survived, as in humans, and then these guys are hunting and killing us for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but uh, yeah, I, I think at least that is the case. Um, Alright, I do have not... Uh, wow. Well, yeah, I have... So, wait, hold on a minute. I can actually quickly make something to dispose of this shit. Uh, and if I find other stuff that I don't need, I can make real quick... Where is it? It's decorative, right? Uh, miscellaneous? I need this one. So that I can throw away. And I do believe this just deletes it. Right? I think so, right? At least I think so. Hopefully that is the case. That over time it just goes away. I, 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 yeah, hopefully. Um, okay, so, uh, since we don't have another useful message, I think that what we can do is maybe we can go and take the sea mod 900 meters deep, or at least uh, 500, maybe, you know, because from 300 to 900 is maybe a little bit too big of a step. Um, uh, oh, we do have some useful stuff. I still need to sort out my... Uh, you know, my inventory. I, I might actually do that, um, you know, maybe after this video. I'm also thinking of actually just bi uh, building four bioreactors and I'm placing these plants just against this wall over here. And uh, yeah, just to have, you know, massive amounts of power going. Because then I can also make more water. Because the inventory slot of this is, is so small. It's only four. Um, probably need to put like a chest over here with the salt, right? Would be useful. All right, let me actually um, quickly make some water. So I have two of those, two of those. So let's make some bleach. It's actually really fast. I, I think this is like almost faster than actually catching bladderfish. And also, it well, you will get more water actually. Okay, so hopefully this trash can is actually... Oh! Yeah, see, it's empty. Ah, okay, so it does work. Nice! Okay, so it just takes a little time before it's got... Which makes sense, because you don't want to put something in there and then it immediately uh, gets destroyed, so to speak. Right, okay, so we have some water, uh, food. I can get food anywhere I want, so to speak, with the knife. All systems online. Alright, so let's see. Um, now, we do have a biome that we haven't explored yet. It's uh, underneath... It's underneath the floating islands. That's where we found a few of those weird... Um, weird ball things, right? Uh, but... What if we go towards the Reapers? 
in this direction because I don't want to go too far yet. Um, but yeah, if we oh the bulb zone, right? I can actually go deeper. Oh yeah, what's actually behind the bulb zone? I don't know. We found life pods. What was it? Twelve? Over here? I'm not entirely sure what it was again, but um. So you could make a base of thermal energy over here. Okay. So what is behind this biome? Ah yeah, there we go, 12. Ha, ah, I remember. Okay. So if you continue this way... We find... Oh yeah, that's where we found the water purification thingy. Really nice. And it goes down. Okay, could have explored this with my C mod without the up. Okay. Oh no, I think where I know, I think I know where I am. This is not where you want to be. Nope. Okay, so this is the edge of the world. Okay, interesting. Right? I mean, really? Yeah, I think if you go that way then you will face something you don't want to see. So we're going to casually just follow the like let's say border of the world. What's this? Wait, hold on. This is something. Okay, okay. We m Ooh, we see some wrecks over here. Nice. Nuclear reactor. Ooh. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, okay. Nuclear reactor. Okay, need to be careful. That's a big shipwreck. But uh, I guess we have something to explore. Yeah, I know there is a reaper somewhere. Can't see it though, which is a problem. Well, I'm sure the most parts are actually in the thing, but I can already see two parts, so... Okay, let's not have a heart attack as uh, before, when the reaper just uh, was behind me. Okay. Um... Is it also the nuclear reactor or is that something? Oh, that's that's not cool, man. Go away. It is. Nuclear reactor. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's get in here. Okay. Anything else? Don't think so, right? I think uh, we just have to enter. So this is the same kind of structure we have seen before. So we can enter from here. No, we cannot. We only have to enter from the other side. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have this one on, on my bar already. There we go. Okay, we do have a, a decent amount of oxygen, so we can take our time. Ow. Stupid biters. Okay, they don't do a lot of damage, so that's good. Okay. Ooh, nice food. Always use. Ooh, what's this? Please observe safety protocol CSP-21 before handling classified cargo. Oh, classified cargo, eh? Now, what would that be? Oh, is that a nuclear reactor? Maybe that's just nuclear stuff. Quilted double bat? Ooh, wait, what? Blueprint acquired. Wait, this is it? No 
no way this is it. Really? Nah, I don't believe that. There should be an opening somewhere, right? Uh, that's just a normal prawn suit arm. We don't need that. Okay, that's definitely n okay. So there should be another entrance. I'm sure of it. But where, eh? There must be. Let's see. Oh, could I just open this one? No? Okay. Is that it? Really? Interesting. I thought this would be like the craziest find of all time. Okay, let's make sure... Yeah, I, I guess that's it. Okay, well... Oh wait, hold on. Oh, uh, no, never mind. Maybe I could swim through the vents. It's getting a little... Oh, it's getting... Yeah, okay. I guess still can see it. But okay, so that is it. Okay, I'm just gonna check real quick one more time because I can almost not believe that that was it. There was like absolutely nothing there beside like a weird uh, message, which, you know, is kind of useless. No vents or anything? No. Yeah, that was just... And we cannot open this door. No vents, nothing to repair or something, so... Really? Okay, well, I, I guess... Yeah, okay, that's it, I guess, I suppose. Hello? <gasps> oh, what are you? You are a... Squid. Seek fluid intake immediately. Right. Um. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, new biome, new monsters. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, decent amount of crystal. Right, decent amount of crystal. Ooh. Some red things over here. Hey, a new fish. Well, let's make sure we don't fight the D. Squid thingy. Uh, where are you, fishy? There you are. Spinefish. Just just stay here. Where are you? Wink. Spinefish. Oh. Okay. Right. Uh Blo blood oil. Okay. Okay, interesting soundtrack for this biome. Okay, they're kind of big. Red oil filled pustule contains blood vine seeds, maybe pr uh, processed into benzene. Oh, wait a minute. If I do. No? Oh, I guess this is the seed then. That's like the seed clusters. Right, but can I not just grow the... No, I guess... No, never mind. Okay. What is this? Ghost weed. Spooky. So it does glow as well, so it would be nice for our base, right? Uh, everything that glows will be uh, in my uh, base eventually. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I see a lot of crystal, which is really good because um, I was actually. Or well, I'm gonna need a lot of crystal eventually. Oh, it's one of. Oh, okay, so these swim in here too. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, look at those big. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, I see. <gasps> oh, right. We found the place where we probably can make some crazy... Uh, or like where we can farm the nuclear stuff. I really need to start making my prawn suit, huh? So that we can farm a massive amount of... Uh... Oh! 
Blood crawler. Oh, that's just a normal biter, right? Oh no, blighter. Wait, what? I guess everyone is. Oh, everyone is different in this biome, I suppose, right? Because you know it's 400 meters deep. Creatures change. Okay, I just okay, I just, okay. Well, I'm just gonna take a few of these things. I'm not sure how much I need. Probably a ton if I want to power my my base for a long time, right? But um. Okay, let's go back to the semen. Okay, so is this... Uh, yeah, I, I suppose this is the place for Uraninite or something like that. That's how it's called in this game. And for the blue stuff. So this is where we can make benzene. And wait, didn't we need benzene for something? Maybe for the prawn suit upgrade? Not entirely sure. Right, I think uh, that... Is a great end for this episode. I uh, don't want to rush too quickly. Now I know there's another biome that we have to explore. Uh, we might do that in the next video actually. It's the one with the weird ball things. Um, I think it's around the same depth, right? Well, this does look interesting though. This really does look interesting. I mean, I can go if I want to, right? <gasps> oh! Wait! Are these... They are! Deep shrooms! Yes, I need them for the... Wait, what did I need that for again? I need that for something. Ow! Um, right, okay, um, I think, you know what, you know what, you know what, let's just go a little bit deeper, you know. Yeah, look at that, look how much, Level like... Scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Ooh. Okay, you know what, guys? Oh, I, I, okay, I can see the, ooh, look at that. I'm not gonna go there. But what I'm gonna do is gonna quickly do this and I will call this Deep Cave. Uh, deep Fossil Cave. There we go. So I know that, I, uh, that it is here, right? I think it would be smart to have a few of them laying around. Especially if we find a few more points of interest. But yeah, I don't want to go through every single thing in one go, but I was 500 meters deep down though. Okay, so a lot of uranium and stuff, right? It's a cool looking biome. It's a really cool looking biome. It, you know, to be honest, I wish you could play the soundtrack because the soundtrack was kind of nice, but you need to be in a safe place because the soundtrack was kind of ominous, you know, like, like as if something will happen. Oh wait, what? It's next to the mushroom biome. Wait, what? Okay. It's look at that. You can actually get uraninite. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh. Oh, look at that. Wait, is that an egg? It is an egg. I don't think I have this one yet. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, yoink! Oh, look at that! Un un unidentified. Oh, that's gonna be fun. All right. So if we, hmm, I was still. Th oh, it's over. Oh, it's with the the tree thing. Ah, okay. Good to know. I'm still thinking of how I want to do my, like, sort of, uh, I don't know, how, how would I call it? Like, sort of aquarium slash zoo slash research base. Do I want to have creatures in a specific, like, tank? Like, one kind of creature in a specific, a specific tank? Or do I want to have all the creatures in one tank? I don't know. I think it would be smart to have, like, multiple tanks with, like creatures right like just like a zoo right that would be cool i think 
Um, right, I think that is it for this episode. We found a new zone. I'm not entirely sure how it's called. Um, but we found blood oil. So now we can make benzene. And I will grow one of these as well, or two actually, uh, or three. Uh, and we also found, of course, deep strom, which we also needed. Uh, can't remember for what. I do believe it was for one of the upgrades. But for which upgrade, I cannot remember. Right, so in the next video, if we don't have a me next message, we will actually explore the other area. Uh, which is, of course, the one with the, the ball thingies. And those, um, I know, lead to maybe somewhere else. I don't, I'm not sure. And if not, then we might actually just go to the deep fossil cave or whatever that is called. And, and and just look around there because I know that every biome in this game has different resources so even if we don't explore everything in one go we can of course still farm some resources there to help us in building and upgrading our equipment and all that sort of stuff so um, yeah okay guys that is it for this episode I hope you enjoyed this little bit more casual video um, and I will see you all in the next one